Oh, trick shot! Trick shot! Oh! For a quick second there, I actually thought he got the trick shot, but he didn't. No. So now that things have somewhat calmed down as far as Call of Duty World War II, I can finally sit back here and record with peace and tranquility and talk to you guys. Today is Friday. Friday is probably my second favorite day of the week next to Saturday because Saturday is always a shit. And every time I make a video on Friday, which is every Friday because I make videos every day for the most part, I always like to say happy. What are you doing, bro? I always like to say happy Friday. So, happy Friday. So I wanted to take my time in this video to get some hit markers with this ballista because that's all it's been giving me. I wanted to take my, you see what I'm talking about? I wanted to take my time in this video to talk to you guys and show to you guys some new images that just got released. Like I literally thought that we were gonna just get the, the teaser or you know, the news on the reveal that's gonna be on Wednesday. And I thought that was gonna be it. But it appears to be that we may be getting more stuff throughout the weekend, kind of like what we discussed. Oh, damn. Look at that fucking emblem, bro. Relax. These kids are so horny all the time. Jesus. <laughs> hey, I understand, bro. I've been there, done that, right? I'll get in the hood. But I'm actually very happy because over at the Call of Duty website, they've managed to release some, and I quote, low resolution. That was horrible. I think I got phone blocked or actually I don't think I did. I'm just making up excuses for shitty skills. Over at the Call of Duty website, they revealed three new images. They're considering these images, like I said, low resolution, meaning they're not meant to look good. And even when you actually try to save the images, they're super small. Like the uh, the actual dimensions of the pictures are super small, meaning it's going to look like crap. And the graphics are still stunningly beautiful. I'm going to put the images here on screen just so we can talk about them really quickly. These things look beautiful. You guys need to let me know what you think about this because I don't know if it's just me but i think they truly do look magnificent um you got one here which appears to be probably like a thompson um with the uh, extended mags a quick draw grip then you have another image of uh, i believe it's five soldiers then the last and final image they have one soldier which i'm not quite sure if that's the guy from the cover from the video that we previously did the guy in the main cover for the uh, world reveal i'll put the image here on screen i'm not sure if it's the same guy it could be it could be not since these images are so low in resolution it's kind of hard to tell Hold on. Now, I don't know if this is probably like part of the story mode. It probably could just be like cinematics, you know, probably a, a scene during the story mode or whatnot. Or it could be the loading screen or it could be uh, the main menu. It could be anything. We do have to admit Sledgehammer, like for instance, Advanced Warfare had some pretty good graphics. I don't for a second doubt that this game is going to have amazing graphics. I think it's probably going to have better graphics than Advanced Warfare. At the end of the day, I really don't care. So far, the game is looking really good from the images that we've seen. I think the hype really is real and I haven't been this excited for a Call of Duty and quite some time i'm just being quite honest with you guys when we look at these five soldiers is the campaign there's a guy behind <laughs> See, when i look at these images especially the one of the soldiers of the five soldiers i ask myself does it mean that we're not gonna have like a single main character we're gonna have probably five characters kind of like brothers in arms i don't know if you guys ever played that game it was a shooter from a few years back it didn't have one particular like main character it revolved around different soldiers when it comes to multiplayer it could also serve as a specialist or kind of like you know each soldier has their own individual things one of my subs gave me a really good valid point and he said what if each one of these soldiers has like a special ability kind of like rainbow six siege like every soldier has something unique to them which is essentially kind of like specialist but it's a little bit different since you know obviously this is going to be completely way way different than black ops 3 as far as abilities and we're not in the year 2054 right is that the year that black ops 3 is in i don't remember they're making it seem like it's not going to revolve just around one guy like even at the picture that we talked about look at this guy the picture that we talked about in uh, the previous video, when you looked at the guy's eyes, if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out as we talk more about that. You can see that there's different soldiers in his eyes and the reflection of his eyes. And they wanted us to look at those soldiers. They wanted us to look at the reflection in the eyes of that one soldier so we can see the other soldiers in, her, in his eyes. That could be incorporated into campaign. It could be incorporated into multiplayer. They could do so many things with it. I think that's definitely the right approach to go about it just because of how the whole Call of Duty now, you know, has the whole specialist thing with uh, Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. So it would make complete sense. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw those images, I was just fucking mind blown, dude. I was excited.
Oh, I'm dead. Dude, why you gotta pull out the pistol like a little scumbag? What I'm looking forward to is gonna be definitely the camos on the weapons. The weapons themselves, the snipers. I'm really looking forward to the snipers. I'm gonna really try to play as much of this game as I possibly can. I know I said that about Infinite Warfare, but I just really didn't like Infinite Warfare. Maybe just because I was sick of the whole advanced movement stuff. It just wasn't really my thing. People that started playing Call of Duty during Boots on the Ground, they're gonna like Boots on the Ground more. Some of the people that started playing Call of Duty during Advanced Warfare, they're gonna like that you know type of movement more at least for right now because you yet have to try a brand new next generation call of duty game that doesn't have advanced movement because let's be honest call of duty ghost was not next gen solely on next gen it was call of duty from last gen and ported into next gen isn't that hijacked over there I think it is i'm not sure one thing that i want out of the next call of duty is the ability to play maps during the day and during the night i don't care that it doesn't have like weather change or anything like that I, I just wish that we can have a map during the day and during the night i mean think about it that'll make one map feel completely different maybe it's just me maybe i'm just talking a lot of crap but personally like nuketown imagine playing nuketown at night that'd be dope imagine any night map playing it during the day that'd be dope this call of duty i said it and i'll say it again it has to be top notch it's got to have a lot of new things there's a lot of hype behind this card already and it hasn't even been a day since we've finally seen some images Dude, I hit marker the guy, and then I get collided by ray gun. Well, guess what? Get quick stuff sculpt out, bro. There's horrible connection in this lobby, by the way. So what do you guys think about the images? Which, by the way, the guy, the main soldier, I forgot to tell you. I just noticed right now when I was looking at it. He has what appears to be a desert eagle. I'm not like a, an insane gun guru, but it looks like a deagle. It's not a desert eagle. It's a 1911. Excuse me for being a dumbass. Whenever I play with the- Hey, what's up? Whenever I play with a DSR, I just feel like I'm never gonna get a hit marker. Except for that first kill that I got a hit marker. And then I got collided. What the fuck? DSR? You're embarrassing me over here, bro. By the way, yesterday, I was literally gonna make a video on something completely different today. And then this news came out which i don't mind it man a double upload on a friday this is fucking nuts man starting next week remember i'm gonna be posting some outlast too bro we're gonna be getting scared the shit out of our socks wait that makes no sense we're gonna be whatever we're, we're just gonna be getting fucking scared all right doesn't need to make sense just needs to be good oh really <laughs> what a fucking dick <laughs> it's funny once people see me in a lobby <laughs> they just automatically go and play my Go ahead and play my videos. Ooh. Trick shot. You freaking hit shot, Holo. I want to see you hit a trick shot. You. <laughs> That's a joke. Me hit a trick shot. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. What we got so far. Again, I think we are going to be getting more teaser. This fucking guy with the fucking C4 sandwiches, bro. Oh my. Oh my. That's all we got for World War II so far. What do you guys think of these images? Do you think we're going to have specialists? Do you think we're going to have, you know, the campaign is going to be based on different people, not just one individual soldier? By the way, guys, uh, I wanted to ask you in one of my previous videos, but I guess the music wasn't loud enough. I'm going to try and see if I can put the music loud enough in this video as background music so it could be more of a chilled vibe commentary. You guys let me know if, if you like the videos like that with a relaxing type of beat in the background or do you like it without any music? I admit it. Sometimes I talk too loud and the reason why I've been noticing that I talk too loud is because my game audio is so loud that I, I scream. What I did in this video is lower down the game volume. Hopefully, I didn't scream as much. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But let me know if the background music is better to watch the videos with or not. Let me know in the comments. There's over 100,000 players right now. I mean, it is Friday. First victim. I don't know if it's just me, but recently this ballista has been giving me some nasty dank ass hit markers. Like, for reals. Let's see how many hit mark. Oh, there's the first hit marker of the day. Of I mean, of the game. A uh, second one. Goodbye.